Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, say it with me, you got here just in time. That's right, it's Friday. And it's time for another edition of Friday's Fine. We got some boxes sitting on the table. We're gonna have some fun. Before we get into this edition of Friday's Finds, do me a big favor, click on my howdy button, post a comment down there, tell me howdy, tell me what you like about Friday's Finds and what your favorite kind of products are. That helps my vendors know what to send us. We got some really cool products, one that I've been working on for a while, so we're gonna, we're gonna jump to that because I just finished shooting the footage, and then we'll jump back over here and we'll open a box because I, I got my work cut out for me on this one. We have a returning sponsor. Y'all remember Wojet? They sent us the pressure washer kit. Well, they're back. Returning sponsors. We sure appreciate you. Wojet's back. And they have sent us a rubber pressure washer hose that stays soft in winter. And it looks like it's 50 feet, 4,500 PSI, 3 8 some quick connect. But wait, there's more. That's actually part of the package. Because, uh, let's, let's, let's take a look at this hose real quick. Hand a dandy knife, slicing it open. Slices and dices, the unbox. The box is empty. So we have two quick connect fittings and a, and a heavy, heavy hose. Boy, that's a heavy hose. What would really be awesome would be if we had a better way to store this hose. Oh, wait a minute. Wojet already thought of it and they sent it to us. That is a Wojet hose reel. <laughs> Spring loaded. This is gonna be so awesome. I'm gonna be able to use the big hose and not have to mess with it getting kinked up and find a place to put it. And when we have the the R when when the RV garage is built, I'll be able to have this permanently mounted on the wall. So I won't have to go find pressure washer hoses to wash Miss Trudy Thunder. This is gonna be so awesome. So let me get things set up here and we'll experience the Wojet hose reel. Let's, let's open a box. So it, it took me a little bit to, to figure this out, but nothing nothing is impossible. I ran into a couple of challenges with the, the hose reel. Uh, and one is how to tighten this fitting in there. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I got it tight enough. I think I need a maybe a basin wrench. I don't know, but I had to go find an adapter, a nipple, got it all sorted out. So we have our long blue hose from Wojet on the Wojet reel with a Wojet hose connecting it to the Greenworks pressure washer. So let's, let's give it a pull. I like that a lot.
have to, have to make sure you're paying attention to the clicks. And just like that, look at all that hose. That's that's so awesome. That'll make washing the cars in the RV so much better. It, especially once it's mounted on the wall, when we get the, the building up. I guess we need to power on the pressure washer and see it actually spraying water. We are pressurized and ready to wash. I, I really like that. I can wash all my vehicles and not have to move the pressure washer in the process. The long hose makes a wonderful addition. It's like, if you have a detail shop, any any place where you're like heavy equipment that you've got to clean, that's a that's a heck of a deal right there. Mobile detailing, that's, that's your rig right there. I think it's a heck of a deal. All right, now that I got this all set up, I'm gonna wash my vehicles. Got a clean truck, got a clean car. So Mountain River Outdoors reached out to me. And they said, hey, we wanna get on Friday's finds. So here we are. They have sent us the NJZ camping chair. That's, a, that's not a very big box. Is it gonna be big enough for a tall guy like me? Let's open that box and find out. Forgot how much I enjoy carrying one of these. How handy it is that we're looking at a blue chair. Cause there's a blue dot. Huh? It's, it's a Naga hide, vinyl, pretty hefty. It's a heavy case. All right. Instructions in several different languages. Let's see if we can do it without reading instructions. I was right, it is blue. So maybe I'm gonna have to read some instructions. How do we get it to lock in place? Ah. Oh. We just pull. That's all we gotta do. You just pull until the pins lock. Look how that, that is. That's quite simple. So can a big guy like me sit in it? Tall guy? I don't know that you'd want to put a whole lot of weight on it. Let's see if there's a weight rating. For a small chair, works pretty good. I don't know how much it'll support it. Well, one thing I know for sure is a package of that size that will be that will fit in your car. You can stash that like in the F-150. I could actually put that behind the very back seat. So I always have a chair with me. That's a heck of a deal right there. I like it. Nice, light, compact, easy to carry. Fits in your backpack, fits in your canoe. You'll like it too. You've got a chair with you wherever you go. Thank you, NJZ. Y'all ready to open another box? Let's open another box. It's, it's 90, 97 degrees today. In the very near future, a few weeks, it's gonna start getting cold, getting cool. Maybe even cold. And it is time to start thinking about staying warm. It is a graphene heated jacket. Aerospace insulation technology. This is exciting stuff. Oh. Graphene, an advanced material with high tensile strength, electrical conductivity, and thermal properties. Oh, that's rather substantial. 2XL. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> I'll be scooting in style this winter. Got to make a, make a point to go camp somewhere where it's cold now. Got a, a pocket for the phone. Maybe that's where the battery goes. Let me, let me do a little 
Let me do some reading. I'll be right back. So this comes to us from Miratawa Direct. It even includes a battery. And that's a, that's a substantial battery bank. And I bet, I bet we can use that as a power source when you're not trying to keep your coat warm. It fits very well. We have a hood. Now, according, according to the documentation, there's three settings, low, medium, and high. On low, it's seven hours of heating. On medium, you have five hours. And on high, when it's like really cold, you have three hours of heating. You turn the power on, the power's on. Pressing over three seconds. Okay, now we're lit. So that each time you press, it changes. So red is the high. White is the low, and blue is the medium. This is awesome. You'll be seeing me wear this when I'm running on the scooter this winter. You gotta have one of these. Whew, getting hot. It is, it is 97 degrees. The Woolsia, the Woolsia. Let me put the Woolsia coat away. I'm, I'm so excited about these technological advances. I'm graphing. Warm clothes, electric clothes, that is so cool. It's moving right along. Let's open another box. A lot of my duders at the, the last gathering were commenting on Vivor. Vivor, tough tools, half price. They've got their hand in everything. But Vivor has returned. And we are expanding greatly <laughs> what they get into. It's time to have some fun with Vivor. This is the galaxy ship. Let's open it up. It's, it's a radio controlled, apparently it's both an airplane and a boat. Vivor, tough toys, half price. Apparently this is like an entry level kind of toy, RC plane, whatever we're gonna call it. Okay, now it's, it makes more sense. It is, it is a styrofoam structure. Styrofoam and plastic. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna be ground effect type and maybe it is still a ground effect. Apparently you don't have to have water to be able to fly it. The remote. Chargers, screwdriver. And two batteries, two batteries and two propellers. Well, let me let me read some instructions. But we're gonna open one more box, and then I'm gonna go research, read, educate myself, and then we'll go work with the toy. We'll take the galaxy ship out shortly. We have a big box. Vivor, tough tools, half price. Whoa. That one's heavy. This is the commercial sandwich panini press grill. There we go. Ah. It is it is heavy. And it includes a toolkit. This is not like one of them little inexpensive things you would buy. This is this is actually a legit platform here. It's heavy. That weighs 30 pounds, I bet. So I need to, once again, educate myself and find something for us to cook on this. This is the model HT811 Panini Press, 1800 watts. We'll get up as hot as 572 degrees. Very smooth action. You, I did need to pull the plastic film off of the stainless because when this thing gets up to 400 degrees, that stuff would start melting all over the place. 
and I certainly don't want it to melt on my food. I very, very much am excited about this. Now, I, I personally won't be eating any paninis or sandwiches that come off of this because I don't eat bread anymore. I'm, I'm strictly carnivore. But this will cook meat. I can cook hamburgers and steak and shrimp and fish and yeah, that's pretty much all I eat. But I can cook hamburger patties on here real simple. I'll be able to cook some hamburger patties on here for sure. So let me let me round that up and uh, but I think first we're gonna go fly the Vivor plane and then I'll work on cooking up some hamburger patties. So the instructions for the Galaxy ship are pretty simple. Control's real simple. You've got You, you push forward on the left side and it increases the motor speed and it raises the aileron. Uh, if you're going to make a turn, you move the right control to the right or the left and that in, increases the speed on that particular propeller. And you can raise and lower the aileron. I'm going to take it out here and practice with it a little bit before I show you my incompetence. I'm going to see if I can reduce the incompetence level just a little bit. Three, three tree interactions. Fortunately, the Galaxy ship is, is still surviving. I just did a, a pretty good flight around the, the acre here. I'm going to attempt to do it again. And hopefully I can do this in one take. Crash land. I believe that's called the walk of shame where you have to go get your your aircraft or your car. So be mindful when you crash into the weeds that the propellers will get fouled. So if you're wanting to wanting to get into the hobby of, of flying radio control planes. This is a great place to start. It's pretty simple to get it into the air. Once you, you know, master a few little hiccups, if you already know how to fly radio control planes, this will be a, a piece of cake for you. I've not ever flown radio control planes. I have flown, a, I've got a radio control quadcopter, an aerial camera platform. I don't use it. I don't have a license. Great place to start. Be a great gift for the kids or the grandkids. I know there's a couple of young men that'll be really excited to know this is actually going to be a, a Dillo Days giveaway. So if, if you want to get, want your chance at the Galaxy ship, February 2nd, Lake Whitney State Park, you gotta come to Dillo Days. I kind of making this up as I go. From a carnivore panini, we're gonna take two hamburger patties, frozen hamburger patties. And we're gonna grill them a little bit. Mm. And then we're gonna put some ham, and some cheese on our 
pat burger patty bun. Like so. I should have a non-stick fork. And now I have to clean it. All right. But first, I'm gonna go eat. Let's see if we can cook a T-bone on the V4 Panini Grill. T-bone, beautiful T-bone, got it on sale. Hot Panini. Ooh, we get a sizzle. <laughs> we're, gonna have, we're gonna have steak tonight. The great thing about using the Panini to cook the steak there's two great things. One, no charcoal required. Any place I can plug in the RV, I have the grill. Two, I don't have to flip it over. There's the, the, a hot surface on top and a hot surface on bottom. So we're bringing the heat together and cooking the steak. This is so awesome. Oh, look at that! We didn't even have to, we did, I didn't have to turn it over, but I, I did. Doesn't take very long. Like that. We're ready to eat. Oh, this is done. We're done. We're ready. I gotta eat. Man, that T-bone was so good. If you only knew how good it was. I think that's a winner, winner chicken dinner right there. Mama likes it too. Thanks, Vivor, for sponsoring this edition of Friday's Finds. And that brings us to the end. Post a comment down there. Tell me which one of these items you thought was the best. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. Hit that howdy button as well. Uh, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm when you do those two things. If you've already been following along, thank you. I truly appreciate your attention. I know your time's valuable, and the, the, the fact that you spend a little bit of that with me, Thank you. I sure appreciate that. And for my patrons, I am so grateful for your generosity. You guys rock. All right. Y'all come back now. You hear?